What I see is that the important thing is to try to create a movement mm -hmm. instead of only thinking, I need to do content. So what I see, what people do is that people that are successful, they spend not much money at all, but they have thought of like, how can I create a movement? How can I help? Mm -hmm. What can I do to help other people? And I see that uh, so many things that are being done with no budget, but with huge pickup. But it's it's because they don't think about broadcasting message. Instead, they're thinking, how can we create a movement? How can we do something together? When you're communicating uh, in the old days, you had a few big media. You had uh, big mass media. You had broadcast media. You had TV, radio, print, etc. And uh, the unit that you produced mm -hmm. to broadcast, uh, you only needed to do one TV spot, you only needed to do one ad, one radio spot or one radio, you know. But today you have so many different media and different uh, media outlets and places to put your content. So it's obviously so that it becomes more, um, uh, it's harder to produce content because you need to, yeah, it's complicated. It's, it's, it's like uh, uh, being at the roulette table, you know, yeah, yeah. and you need to put your chips everywhere uh, instead of just putting all your chips on, on, on black, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know, you mm -hmm. need to put it on everywhere and then it's, uh, it's very costly. So I can totally understand that. Uh, so that calls for being uh, innovative, but it also, what, what we can see is that if you you can also choose not to participate in certain media and mm -hmm. you can come up with the ideas that you believe in and that you continue. But that's why it's so important with data. Mm -hmm. Because then you can see what works and you can do things. But because on the other hand, if you get people involved, you can uh, get so much more return on your investment. Mm -hmm.